Okay, I'm here at Dad's place and uh, doing a little video to show you some of the nostalgia. Let's start with these. Well, let's wait for this one. So, Dodgers yearbook, 1954. In back Washington Nationals 1952 1952 New York Giants these are in good shape Chicago White Sox 1954 Where'd you get the, in Florida? What? Where'd you get the year, the, the Chicago stuff in what? New York? What? Like Milwaukee Braves? Oh, those. Were they in Florida? I, I got them, I don't know, through the mail or something. Oh, okay. My dad's resting. But I told him I might ask him questions. Huh. I didn't have this one. December 4th, 1995. <laughs> Battle of the Browns. Oak Mordell. He was good in the city, but then he, he screwed up and went to Baltimore. Huh. Oh, I wish I found that, I wish I found that one. National Football League, 1964 World Champions. Actually, Cleveland Browns had quite a few champions. Back in the days. Well, that's good condition, too. 1954 Yankees. Nineteen fifty-four Phillies. Dad liked baseball. So did my grandfather. And if you don't know, my grandfather tried out for St. Louis Browns. He was the last one to be cut. 1956 Indians. My dad played for played at Riverside Military. 1955. I didn't play. I started a little league, but I never really got into it. And I played softball at Open Door Christian School. I mean, Open Door Church. My dad was national champions. In our city, Church of Open Door, I have his jacket. I went to a few games. And then we had inner, inner league at Open Door, and we won the championship. I think it was the last year at 84. I was a good outfielder, but my th I threw my arm out all the time, so... My youth pastor uh, put me in as catcher. I hated being catcher. <laughs> but me and the pitcher did sig signals, believe it or not. And that's pretty much how we helped win the championship. One of my friends, Tim Green's brother, the way he stood straight up and just hit the softballs, you should see him. 1952 at Dodgers, 52. Like I said, these are good condition. Cleveland ends, 1954. One of these programs I know has Bob Hope because I saw it. Dad sat in front of Bob Hope. Babe Ruth. I got one of these. I think I got one of these too. My seat's squishy. 
Now that was a good series. Indians and the Mariners. All right. Frank Franklin Lewis book. Oops, I gotta do something else. Nineteen fifty two sketchbook. Nineteen fifty one sketchbooks. It's too bad I, I can't show you. I'm at a weird position. Nineteen fifty, nineteen forty nine. Nineteen forty-eight. Put these in. Nineteen forty-nine. Jackie Robinson. The story of Dizzy Dean. Twenty-five cents. Twenty years with Cleveland Browns. Nineteen fifty five. By Sporting News, 1946, and Dad says this autograph is Joe Lewis, September 1948. Cool. Nineteen forty nine Baseball Almanac, nineteen fifty five. Nineteen fifty August September, nineteen fifty. Nineteen April May, nineteen fifty. June nineteen fifty one. July nineteen fifty one. Nineteen fifty one. Nineteen fifty two. So he went to quite a few baseball games. Bob Feller, 20 years of Cleveland Indians. That's pretty cool. I like how that design is. 1953. Excuse me. 1935. 1935. Bob Feller, Strikeout Stories. I have this one. Oh, not Bob Feller. Uh, Satchel Page. Then, he 
said the name. I can't. He's autographed a few other people. It's a cool cover. Cooperstown. I don't know what year this is. It's 1959. 1959. Athens, Georgia. Small bat. So it's kind of cool. This is one little tote. And then he's got these buttons but he has more buttons that's Sunset Carson Johnny Mac Brown Gene Autry Roy Rogers and Trigger Buck Jones I always liked him Hopalong Kid yeah see those are buttons so there you go I hope you enjoyed this little segment like I said he has a few other stuff down the road I'll video them but I hope you enjoy the segment and until life I mean until next time enjoy life see ya